Joey Strubeer, Bike Man Performance Technical Tuesday segment on secondary clutch springs. Uh, I'm going to explain the differences between uh, compression and torsion springs and what the different uh, ratings on them mean. So first off, let's start with a compression spring. Uh, this is a Bike Man compression spring uh, made for a team clutch. Uh, this one here is a 142.60. I'll go over what that means later. Notice it's flat on both ends doesn't have any ears. That's the main way to tell it's a compression spring. Uh, here's a torsion spring. Uh, you'll notice there is a ear on both ends and it's in the clutch. It compresses and has torsion to it. So that's why it's called a torsion spring. Now uh, let's go over what the different numbers mean. So all these springs will have a first number and a second number. The first number is uh, installed pressure. So when the spring is installed in the machine, in the clutch, it, like this one would have 140 pounds. Now at full shift out, this one has a 200, so it would have 200 pounds. So now let's go over what the numbers mean. Uh, the first number is the low speed. So at lower speeds, uh, that first number is more important. Uh, the second number will be at higher speeds. So the 260 or the 200 will be your high speed. Now a lower number equals faster, easier upshift and slower backshift. Higher number equals slower upshift and faster backshift. So we also see here uh, these little uh, Teflon washers we sell for compression springs. Uh, the way that they work is when a compression spring compresses, it also wants to twist a little bit. And with when it's just against like a, a metal background, it can slide a little bit and change and create a little bit of torsion pressure when we're only trying to get compression on the spring. So when we put these little Teflon washers in, now it's slippery like it's on a bearing, so it'll always find its neutral home. Now, I do really like torsion springs, so if you have a clutch setup that has an option to run uh, compression or torsion, uh, which we do sell some kits for clutches that will convert a compression spring to a torsion setup, I like the torsion setup because as it starts to open, the secondary clutch winds and progressively gets more and more belt squeeze, and it's usually at higher speeds when the belts are uh, uh, creating the most heat. So when we put a little bit more side load at the higher speeds, which the torsion spring does, uh, it makes our belt life last longer. On some of our snow mill models, we gain as much as eight miles an hour just switching to a, a torsion spring. But that's a brief overview of what uh, the different secondary springs are, what the numbers mean. Uh, stay tuned, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to our page, and I'll see you next week. Next week we're going to be going over Can-Am X3 flashing with our Bike Band flash tool. We'll see you then.